This I heard at, at, at church, last time I went to church. The pastor was talking about, like he just brought it up. He was like, when's the last time you actually had a conversation with your neighbor? And he, you know, he brought it right back down to the two main principles in the Bible. Two, he summed, summed, you know how Jesus summed it all up into two things. Love your God, only God, serve no other gods. Love God with all your heart and serve no other gods. Love your neighbor as yourself. We, most Christians, believers, do the first one pretty good. That second one, we have turned it into an analogy and not a, and not a literal loving your neighbor as yourself. I'm, I'm being totally honest. I don't know my neighbor's first, last name name, it's a high buy situation. My mom knows their name, right? Because my mom came from that generation where you would knock on people's doors. The, the mom or dad would sit out in the porch, right? And they talk to each other, right? There was a time where you could literally probably just knock on your neighbor's door, it was already open, and you borrow a cup of sugar. That's just not how it is today, right? I, I think I was the last generation to actually see it, where I do remember growing up on a dead end street. I knew all of my neighbors. I knew all of them. I knew the parents. I was the kid that was always out playing until the lights came on. And then mom, dad, all right, everyone's, you know, yelling at everybody and come eat dinner, come eat dinner. And I was like always the last one because I wanted to play. But there was always a mom or a dad on the, on the porch sitting, watching the kids. And I could literally walk up to any house on the block, knock on the door. Can I use the bathroom real quick? I don't know. Where's Timmy? Where's John? Right? Oh, he's in his room. Da, da, da. Like people, not everyone locked their doors, right? It's not like that no more. But wouldn't it be interesting if we took an extra five seconds, 10 seconds as we're, you know, leaving the house, whatever your normal routine is, and you see your neighbor or they come home when you come home after work or they're leaving when you're leaving to go to work. Let's see if we can potentially spark a conversation, connect with your neighbor, small steps, right? You don't have to invite them over to dinner and, and let them know everything you got going on. But maybe in small steps, and that's something that I'm gonna be working on my, myself, is small steps to connect with your neighbor. And that might be your next income opportunity, that might be your next business opportunity, that might be your next client that helps you build this. That might be the next relationship you make to get to the next relationship to get you to the next client, the next deal, the next business opportunity. So I would encourage this. This is more of a, a, a spiritual, it doesn't cost you anything, barely even cost you any time, just getting to know your neighbor. A, a, especially if we're, you know, the type of crisis that I'm talking about going into 2024, we got elections coming up, real estate market crash, everyone's talking about it, all the gurus, all the content creators, real estate crashing, job layoffs, relevant things that affect everyday people. These getting awareness of this and really measuring the temperature of your neighborhood to see who's doing well and who's not. And if I'm in the camp of doing well, right? Great, who can I serve? If I'm in the camp of not doing well, okay, who's doing better than me that I could potentially learn from? So, so I would say connect with your neighbor and that could lead to this part of finding successful people in your industry to learn from. Please do not be afraid to ask for help.